Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerddom TV edition for the week of May 21st, 2018. This week in TV news, we have honestly a lot of trailers. So let's go talk about all of that real quick. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into the news, guys, we have to get into the sponsor. All of this week's episodes are going to be sponsored by Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the Patreon page where you can go support the channel. Uh, it's broken down. There's four different tiers. $1 tier, $2 tier, $5, and $10. And even just the $1 tier, which is just the early access to all the videos and the complete uh, instructions on the Renaissance Nerd videos, even just that tier, which I feel like that's worth a buck a month, right? It, you, because that's full instructions for Renaissance Nerd. That's not just the ingredients list like you get on the free version of those videos. Uh, so check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. Link is right here on the screen. And now let's jump into some news. First thing on the agenda, CW Reboots. We got Charmed trailer. We got official announcements. Let's talk about it. Uh, so, link in the description for the Charmed trailer. Uh, it seems like they're going with this weird amalgamation of Buffy and the original series, but not the original series at its beginning necessarily, more the original series when Rose McGowan joined, because like it's this weird other sister. Their version, I feel like, makes a little bit more sense than the Rose McGowan version, so they've got that going for them. But it's, again, they have this weird, this weird, like, Buffy element going on, and I I feel like this is a, a way to sidestep Joss Whedon, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it feels a little contrived, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I might give it... Girlfriend really likes the Charmed series, so I'll probably give it a few episodes before I make an, a, a proper judgment. But this uh, first look trailer does not bode very well for the series. Again, link to it if you have yet to see it is it down in the description if you like the witchy kind of stuff, or the CW stuff at all, then you might be inclined to check this out. But we also officially got the announcement that Roswell is going to be going into production. Um, it seems like there's no like trailer or anything for that. But it seems that the CW is more willing to reboot than spin off. I don't understand that. I I don't know. I'm I'm passing this one off to you. Do you guys feel like it was a better decision to reboot two series? rather than pick up Wayward Sisters. I honestly feel like they dropped the ball with that Wayward Sisters thing because that are, th there is an existing gigantic fan base for that already. You have to reinvigorate the fan base for these other two series. So, I don't know. It, it, again, what do you guys think? Which would have been a better uh, way to go? Uh, did, did they choose the right way or should they have picked up the Wayward Sisters? Let's talk about that down low. Next on the list, we're talking about a new Netflix series called 10 After Midnight. Uh, Guillermo del Toro, I'm, I always mispronounce that first name, it sucks but it happens, is doing an anthology horror series for Netflix. He, it's called 10 After Midnight and we don't know much else about it. He's not going to, he's going to be the showrunner and also writer at times and on some of the episodes also he will be directing, but not every episode. Everything will just be going through him. Uh, that's all we really know. We don't know when it's coming, we just know that it is coming. So let's kick on over. Next, we have the trailer for Preacher Season 3. 
in this trailer we get to see that the rest it, it, it's it's called angelville and we get introduced to the rest of the custer clan who play a pretty big role in the books if you've read the books um but it doesn't look like we're getting into territory of the story in the books we're still prequeling Hopefully, though, by the end of this season, we will be into the book's territory. So, crossing fingers, if that doesn't happen, then I'm probably done watching Preacher. And a lot of other people are, too. Then, we're going to talk a little bit about Gotham. Um, I, this is the last time we will ever be talking about Gotham, because uh, Jeremiah is the joker who is the little brother of jerome or the twin brother of jerome and jerome so everything that jeremiah does is not as good as what Jer like they've they've painted the joker into this weird corner and it it's it's just become insane it is so dumb so dumb all of these horrible things and in the season finale of season four that happened just the other day, they tried to introduce a bunch of extra Batman villains and it just, it, it's, we're done. Done with Gotham. No more Gotham talk. I don't care if, if they sign on for another 10 seasons, which they're not going to. Season five is going to be the last season. They've already announced that, but I don't care if they go back on that and sign on for another 10 seasons and then decidedly make everything better. We're still never going to talk about Gotham anymore. So, moving on. Next, we're talking about the next season's giant Arrowverse crossover is introducing Batwoman. Yes, you heard me right. Batwoman. Uh, uh, Christina Kane. Christina Kane? I believe so. Uh, yes, the red-headed... So, no announcement on who's going to play her. Uh, no announcement on when exactly the crossover event is going to happen, but we do get one every season now. Uh, for like the last two or three seasons, that's the way it's gone. So we know it's coming. They've announced it's going to happen. Um, but so this brings along with it other implications. Are they going to have some sort of representation of their own version of Gotham? Because God knows it's not going to be that crap we just talked about. It's going to be Berlanti's version of Gotham. They've referenced it quite a few times. They've referenced Gotham. They've referenced... Even in Smallville, they referenced Gotham. But uh, in this Berlanti land uh, Arrowverse universe that's going on right now, they have made direct references to Gotham. And... Uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the potential of expanding at least kind of into Batman territory. So that's all we really know so far. So that's actually the last bit of news that we have this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching your Week in Nerddom TV edition. What did I miss this week? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down below if though you want to go deeper into this conversation with me then jump over to the website generallynerdy.net that is the place where you can get all of the freebies everything is up on the website links to all of the stuff the nerdy stores so you can go get your very own nerdy swag is all up on generallynerdy.net or if you want to contribute a little bit more directly to the channel then you can jump over to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. We talked about it at the beginning of the episode, talking about it again. Just a dollar gets you early access and the complete instructions for Renaissance Nerd cooking videos. So check it out, Generally Nerdy on Patreon, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. If you are brand new to this channel, then please click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before you click the box, before anything else happens, click in the websites and the things and the stuff, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>